Okay, so now we have to talk a little bit about security. I failed to include that in the recording yesterday concerning immigration because you want to be able to get your money to the bank. You want to be able to get your money to the bank. Feel me? And you'll need a secure way of doing that. So recommendation one is already been thrown out there, I guess, which wasn't really a good recommendation. Uh, mainly because I've slept on it overnight. Been up a few hours now, QA and what I did yesterday on 11-9 or 9-11. And uh, quite frankly, I've come up with a different idea. That is... Prepaid debit cards have all the undocumented immigrants pay their fees with fees with prepaid debit cards. However, you want the monthly income tax or you want the income tax to be paid monthly. I would anyway. <coughs> Therefore, those $100 payments will also have to be paid via prepaid debit card, which is the most secure way. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of loose money sitting around the community centers, community centers. Whereas that will put some pressure on either the workers, that being senior citizens, veterans and the persons in charge of the facilities where uh, individuals that I just mentioned happen to perform the services of documenting the undocumented persons I mentioned yesterday of having some individuals released from jail to provide security and that's because well you don't want to use working class people unless you want to maybe use off-duty security industry persons security guards as well as off-duty law enforcement officials policemen and sheriffs particularly but someone that is licensed to carry should be probably on location to provide physical security in case somebody wants to get ambitious and or stupid enough to borrow the federal money that being said you don't have to really be concerned with uh, this is for you Mr. Obama Mr. Biden, Mr. Bono. You don't have to be concerned with collecting the money from undocumented immigrants for the case of the state and city fees. I really think it should be all three or the three different fees that I said. Federal fee, city, state fee, which is split 50-50, $5 each, and another $10 for the uh, actual documentation that will be provided to the persons that are paroled the 11 million that are paroled will all need or if it's 7 million the 7 million that are paroled assuming 7 million are above 18 would need to have documentation to prove that they uh, paid their fees and I say paid their fees in the event prepaid debit cards are used it's a wrap it's all done electronically no cash cash exchanges hands that may be a problem for some individuals they may not in fact be able to get a prepaid debit card that five dollars or whatever it takes to get a prepaid debit card could in fact hurt their budget 
each month or maybe one or two months out of the year they don't have the money to put the money on the prepaid debit card if there's any fee. I used to use them. I haven't used them in over a year and a half now. That being the prepaid debit cards. Otherwise, you're stuck with physical handling of money. So I've given the bulk of the outline for the immigration proposal. I think the rest could be figured out by the powers that be as far as how do we get this money to market as well as how do you protect your product because you may have some crazies that don't want the illegal immigrants as they're sometimes referred to to become legal so you may have to in fact take into account before rolling out the plan uh, emergency egress procedures in the event of some radical trying to make a name for himself who particularly doesn't like people that aren't born in America. And that's all I want to add it to. That's all I want to add to that particular spreadsheet. Like my cat. Get on in there, little nigga. Oh shit. Like Dave Chappelle on that on. Holla back.